Hi guys, Braden from Marquis Flooring. Welcome to Third Thursday Training. Uh, today we're going to be touching on things on all things abrasives. Um, so we've got the guys from Norton here, uh, Nathan. He's going to be going over um, pretty much everything to do with abrasives. Uh, we're going to trial out some different machines um, and basically go over which abrasives work best for what um, scenarios. So I'll pass it over to Nathan and we'll go from there. All right, hello everybody. Nathan Watt from St. Cobain Abrasives in Brisbane. We're going to touch on a few of the products that we use in the floor sanding industry. So we'll start with our, probably the basic product, which is the aluminium oxide belt. So one of the first belts um, that was developed. Aluminium oxide is uh, a very tough, durable grain. Um, it can be used on your softwoods and hardwoods. It's one of the older products that are around. It can be on the coarser grits. It's very good for, for ripping off um, previous coatings or leveling the floors out. So, but today we will be trialing the zirconia belts and the red heat belts. Uh, zirconia is the next generation of grain uh, up from aluminium oxide. Um, zirconia is nice and sharp. It can be used with either high pressure or low pressure. Um, it resists fracturing um, a lot more than, than aluminium oxide and can be used on a higher speed as well. So, and next up from that will be the, the red heat or the ceramic. So the ceramic is, is the market leader in, in floor sanding. Uh, the main advantage is with it, it is uh, a pure ceramic belt. So every grain is the same size. So the finish on ceramic is, is perfect. So you get the same, size, um, the same size grit spread across the belt. So the overall finish, it saves time, uh, it'll save money and the overall appearance is, is much better. Okay, now Braden's just finished with the, um, the Zircon or Zirconia belt in a 60 grit. So that was a, a two pack uh, water base that he's just sanded off. Uh, as you can see on the belt, there's, there's very little loading of, of the material, uh, a little bit of light dust on. Still got plenty of, plenty of edge uh, on the belt. Uh, as I said, the Zirconia is a very sharp grain, so it'll keep cutting uh, with medium pressure or can take heavy pressure as well. Um, there's only a small section, so what we'll do is probably go into a, a red heat belt and see the comparison with, with one of those. Okay, so Braden's just finished with the 60 grit red heat. Uh, and the first thing we did notice is the smoothness on the, the red heat belt. And um, you can actually hear it uh, cutting, a little bit difference in sound uh, between the zirconia and the red heat. Uh, the, cut, the cutting of the, the red heat sounds very smooth. And if you, can, if you do look closely, it's probably a bit hard to see uh, the finish on the 60 grit on the red heat um, is, uh, is, is really, really good. It's a lot finer. Uh, the scratch pattern, even compared to the zirconia, uh, is a lot cleaner and uh, a lot more uniform as well. Uh, as far as the loading, loading goes, there's, there's very little on the belt. Uh, it's still got all of its edge. Um, it's only, only started to sort of uh, cut in. It's a, one of the main things with, uh, with red heat is it being a ceramic, uh, it, it's, it, it needs to fracture down. So it likes high pressure. So it's very good on hard coatings and really good on hard timbers. Uh, iron barks, black butts, um, hard hardwood. So uh, it like it likes the pressure, and that just it keeps the consistency with the cut as well.
Okay, so we're finished with the with the hundred on the on the red heat. So uh, one of the main things is the the micro fracturing abilities of the grain uh, on the material to just keep to keep wearing consistency consistently. So as it uh, as it moves through, um, you keep getting a, a really consistent finish across the board. Uh, the zirconia in in the hundred is still finished finished very well. Probably a little bit more in the, the, the scratch marks, but still a very consistent product uh, and a very long life product as well for the zirconia. Um, as you can see, the red heat um, has cut it back really well and um, gone to the next step from there. So now we're moving on to some edges. So we've got our two main type of edging discs. So we've got the silicon carbide, which is probably one of the older products that we have on the market. But silicon carbide is the hardest and sharpest grain of any of the mineral coatings. So it's still a very, very good product. Uh, it has a very uh, good cut rate. Uh, it can work at light pressure as well as hard pressure and gives a very good consistent finish uh, all the way through the material. So they um, traditionally the, uh, the black colored discs. And then obviously back onto the red heat. So this comes in a, a full range of products um, from the the edge of this through to the belts and also 150 mil velcros same advantage with red heat as in the belt 100% uh, uh, ceramic grain so very consistent finish if you use a 60 grit finish with the edge up you'll get the same finish with the 60 grit belt and as you go through the grits uh, paper backed so it makes it uh, cost effective as well and um, we'll put put those on and see how we go Okay, now uh, Braden's just finished with the 80 grit silicon carbide edger. Uh, as you can see, it's a really, really nice finish. Um, a slight little scratch pattern through there, but it's leveled the boards really well. Uh, and, and the feel of it is, is, is really very smooth, which is what the silicon carbide, uh, the grain does because it's so sharp. Uh, it doesn't leave a lot of, um, a lot sticking up from the timber. So as far as wear goes on it, uh, it's still got a fair bit of grain on there. I can, it's, Silicon carbide is very sharp, so you will get a lot of life out of out of the, um, the silicon carbide this as well. Okay, now Braden's just finished with the uh, 80 grit in the red heat. So uh, just from watching it and listening to it, the red heat was, is just cutting uh, so much cleaner. The, the noise, you can hear the ceramic just um, sanding the timber away really, really well. Uh, on the disc, there's still so much grit, it hasn't even started to um, affect it at all. Uh, Finish-wise, it was a lot faster compared to the silicon carbide. Uh, finish wise it's still obviously there's a little bit of a scratch pattern through it but um, really fast product especially for speed if, if times uh, times of the essence uh, and you want to get through through the jobs quicker or a large job still with a really nice consistent um, a consistent cut so definitely on the red heat uh, both perform very well so we'll uh, we'll move on to the next grit now we're going to move on to the blaze product in a 150 mil uh, orbital sander. So the Blaze is a relatively new product in the floor sanding industry. It's been in the industrial market with, with Norton St. Cobain for quite a few years now. Uh, it's made its way across to the timber industry. Uh, fantastic product, uh, very tough, very durable, uh, de-weight backing on the material, virtually no grain shedding. So the, the cut is very consistent. Uh, can be used on either the orbitals or uh, the multi-head machines. It's got the, the main advantage, it's got the hole pattern, so the cyclonic hole pattern. So any dust extraction will remove the bulk of any dust uh, that's left on the job. That's one of the main advantages, uh, as what you're sanding generally wears the grain down. So the Blaze product, we'll put that on and we'll have a look at the performance of that.
Okay, so Braden's just finished with the uh, 120 grit, 150 mil Norton Blaze. Uh, and as expected, uh, the, the finish and the performance is, is unbelievable. Uh, the grain just keeps cutting, uh, especially on, on the harder materials. The, the finish is, is absolutely perfect, very, very smooth. There's still 99% of grain uh, on this material, very little dust. Uh, what, as I said, the main advantage is uh, the multi-hole cyclonic set up to take, take away 90% of the dust. So it uh, just keeps the grain working. But um, yeah, very impressive, uh, really good product um, for, the, for the floor sanding market. And um, we'll move on to the, to the next range. Okay, now we're into the uh, forehead power drive. Yeah, we're gonna run with the 60 grit in the red heat, um, 150 mil. And Braden's gonna level out the rest of the floor and take off uh, any extra coatings. Uh, so that's gonna be a 60 grit. So we'll, we'll see how that one goes. It's taken off pretty much all the rest of the coating that was on, on the floor. Uh, it's left minimal scratches through through the floor, um, keeping in mind that that was 60 grit as well. So normally if we were to go over this then with an 80 grit and 120, the scratches would be that fine that you wouldn't be able to notice them under coating. Um, so it's, it's definitely got the floor nice and flat. Um, yeah, it's kept minimal scratches and the discs are still sharp as they can be so definitely a ceramic disc is a lot better for this this style of, of sanding um, just because with this style of sanding we do want to keep the scratch pattern down so yeah definitely a good, good uh, ceramic disc is the best for forehead sanding Okay, the next product we're looking at is uh, a new addition to the range, or reasonably new. It's called the Sand Dollar Disc. Now, we've uh, brought this in as a product for, obviously, in-between coats. Uh, it comes in four different grits, uh, aluminium grain onto a foam backing. So, very durable, uh, very good to contouring, contours to uneven surfaces. Double-sided, can be reused, can be uh, washed out. Um, so that'll give the product actually uh, quite a bit more life as well. And performs uh, the same as a screen, but gives a finer scratch pattern. So the main advantage is, is under bright lights, halogen lights, stadiums, car showrooms, anywhere that's projecting a lot of light onto a floor, you know, reduces the scratch pattern to, to virtually nothing. So uh, we'll put that on the machine and watch the performance of the sand dollar disc. So as we can see, it's quite a smooth finish. Um, it, it's definitely eliminated a lot of swirl marks. Um, yeah, what, what I would mainly suggest for floor sanders that they use this disc for is cutting back in between coats, in between your final coats. Um, you know, most houses these days have down lights, um, you know, LEDs. So what we're trying to eliminate is the scratches within the coating. Um, so by using the sand dollar, uh, you, you're going to eliminate a lot of those, a lot of those, uh, those marks, which you know they work out really um, economical as far as cost goes um, versus screens. So they're not they're not a lot extra to, to lay out um, to stop you getting those issues with um, scratches in your coating and stuff like that. So I've just taken the, the sand dollar disc off. 
Um, felt it. We got both sides. Um, however, you know, we've only done a little bit of a cut back here. Um, it's still, it's still pretty much like new, you know. Um, and all you can do with this now is you can go and give it a wash out with the hose, give it a blow out if you like. Um, put it back in your van, and it'll be ready to go again to use on the next floor. You can use the same side. Um, so you'll get a good couple of couple of uses out of it before you need to switch to the other side, and then after that, um, you know, obviously then you'll replace it. But uh, they are reusable. Unlike your screens, uh, most of the time your screens, like, you're not going to be able to reuse them a lot of the time. You'll, you'll just throw them out. Um, but definitely not with a sand dolly. You can, you can reuse them. So it's good. So what we're going to do now is we're going to cut the floor back with a 220 uh, red heat screen. Um, and just pretty much to show you how the, you can cut the floor back with a screen as opposed to the sand dollar. Um, you know, a screen's just a normal uh, process that you would use when cutting the floor back in between coats. Uh, sometimes you'll do your screening before you actually throw any coats on at all. Um, you might use a hundred grip to take out any final scratches. Um, but yeah, you will use a screen in between coats. What the screen does is it actually creates uh, a mechanical key because uh, without that, the coating that you're going to put on won't actually bond to the timber. It's, it, it, it'll basically just peel away um, because there's nothing for it to actually stick to. So what the screen does is it actually puts in, um, you know, um, small scratches that you can't really see to the eye, um, and that actually then gives a key for the coating to actually stick to the floor. Um, so that's what basically the process that we're doing now. So we've just used a, two, a Red Heat 220 screen. Um, you know, it's it's cut the floor back perfectly. Uh, there is minimal to no scratches in this this uh, with this screen either. Um, they work quite well. Um, definitely, you know, with, with you know we've only done a slight, you know, not even a square meter here. Like you'd definitely be able to use this screen again. Um, it's cut it back quite nicely, provided the coating that was on this was fully cured. It's been fully cured for probably two months. Um, so, you know, it's done quite well cutting that back uh, with minimal to no scratches in it uh, at all. Okay, well, we'll wrap up for today. So we've uh, had a good chance to see a lot of, of the different Norton uh, products in action, floor sanding products. We've seen the Red Heat, we've seen the Blaze, we've seen the Durite Silicon Carbide. Um, Hopefully everyone's gained a little bit out of this and next time you're looking for, um, for, for your floor sanding products that uh, Norton, Norton will definitely be your first choice. And we'll hand it over to Braden. Thanks guys for tuning in. Um, it's been another good Thursday, third Thursday training. Uh, so this one obviously on abrasive. So we're having a special, so 10% off um, selected abrasive. So make sure you pop in store and ask me about it. Um, just bring up the third Thursday training and. Uh, we'll be able to help you out with that. Um, so next month, uh, we're going to be doing our next episode, which is going to be on, uh, we're going to have the guys from Bonner come down. Uh, they're going to be doing uh, dust sanding and hard plating. Um, so one of the machines that we use today, uh, they're going to be touching in a bit more detail on that machine along with dust sanding, which is quite helpful. Uh, obviously, uh, most, most jobs these days, um, you know, that is a big challenge, is, is trying to keep the dust down. So we're going to be showing you what machines you can use for that. Um, so yeah, just wanted to thank the guys from Norton for coming down and, and helping us out. Um, and yeah, we'll, we'll see you next time. Thank you.